Hello and welcome to my videos explaining to you how to write pseudocode. This video is an introduction and in this I want to explain what pseudocode is and why we use it. First of all, pseudo means pretend and it is pretend code. It is not actually executable and there are enough compilers that can run it. And so you might very well ask yourself, what is the point of writing code that can't actually be run? The point of it is twofold. One, it is useful for writing code to so you can examine the logic of it and the consistency of your variables and so forth and how things will actually run. But you do need to actually do it in your head and that is both a downside to it and an upside to it. It means that you have to understand what's going on. You can't just put it in and hope that it works and let the compiler or the IDE debug it for you. The other reason that we use it is because it is what they write in on the VCE exam because the VCE exam isn't to test how well you write Python or PHP or C++ or any of that. It's how well do you understand the concepts of coding and when you're writing in this it is all concepts. So that's why we use it. So I am going to show you just a very small snippet of it. If I wanted to put something on the screen I would say print. Now some people write their commands lowercase. It is more common in the textbook and on the exam to write it uppercase, but both of them are fine. The kind of official line is there's no wrong pseudocode, but there are things that they expect on the exam. I don't think they would mark you down for having it lowercase, but I'm, my convention is to use uppercase. Print. Now, you could just say print hello world. There you go, which I've written as hello word. All right, so what we're going to do and I don't know if you're going to be able to do this at school, is I'm going to jump across to ChatGPT and I'm going to ask it to check that code. So, now I expected that that would... Um, oh, okay, I'll see what happened. So, let me try that again. Check. Oh, I know what happened. So, I put it in and it had a line return which it took as me putting it in. So, uh, please to be fine in terms of syntax some languages yep so basically that's fine so if you do have access to one of the ai's bard or chat gpt or one of the others then you can put your pseudocode in and it's sometimes good for spotting the errors in it so that's what pseudocode is and that's why we use it 